I've been wanting to do this video for a while, but am a little worried I could get in trouble as it is a bit of an expose. I'm sure there will be some of you aware of what I'm about to discuss, but judging by reviews on certain websites, many people aren't. This has been grinding my gears for a long time, so we'll do it by naming no names and blurring a lot of info out. In today's video, we'll have a look at buying succulent seeds online, especially on some big shopping websites. Before we start, I would like to make a point that there are many legitimate products and great sellers out there. What we'll be doing is looking at the dodgies, how to spot them and make sure you're buying what is advertised. Growing succulents from seed is good fun if you like experimenting and you can get some cool plants that are usually not available in nurseries or garden centers. I grow plants like lithops or cacti from seed and I've even accidentally made a new hybrid. I found seed pots in one of the shade houses on Hawothi Avanusta and decided to plant them just to see. I've done this many times with other plants and it can be a bit of a hit and miss. Usually a miss. To my surprise they germinated and this little cutie is a result. I don't know who the other parent is but my guess is Hawothia cuspidata or Symbiformis. And this is the thing about succulent seeds, you have to have some real good facilities to make sure you're producing the right seed and prevent contamination from other types of succulents. I would never attempt to even try producing seed and selling it, it's just too much work and hassle. But thankfully there are some great sellers out there that do all the hard work. But there are also many many unscrupulous ones and the worst of the worst are quite easy to spot if you know what to look out for. In most cases the photos and descriptions of the product are a dead giveaway. They are usually highly photoshopped or doctored images of succulents that don't even exist. I first noticed this trend of selling fake succulent seeds and other plant seeds as well when I've seen an advert on a well-known trading site where someone was selling very rare blue string of pearls. Blue string of pearls don't exist. This fake seed business is huge and I would go as far as saying it's a complete scam. Some of these sellers have thousands of reviews meaning many many people have fallen for it. Ok, let's dissect how to tell when someone is selling fake. The first red flag are these bombastic photos of gorgeous succulents. Some are real but others have been heavily enhanced. You can reverse search any image to see if the seller is faking it and using a stock photo or if they stole from someone else. Let's do it with this one. I've purposefully blurred out the website name, seller name and the details as I don't want my channel to get into trouble. These products appear on a well known shopping site. At first glance, it seems pretty legit. Both images are from the same seller. The second image is very clearly been enhanced. They are also selling variegated succulents, which is a massive red flag we'll talk about later. And the names often don't match the photos. So now I've right clicked on this image and selected search image in Google at the bottom. You'll then get this window on the right hand side. You can then click find image source and voila. The same image is used on all sorts of shopping websites all over the world and all sell seeds. This has been going on when I started my nursery 10 years ago and is still happening, pretty unbelievable. The second thing you can check is the name of the succulent. Sometimes it is correct but it's more often made up. I checked the names in this seller's store and only a few were kind of right. They rarely put the correct botanical name in. And the final red flag is the description. With fakes, it's usually pretty short. A legit seed seller is likely to put a bit of an effort in and tell you more about themselves and their plants. I would also not get succulent seed mix that doesn't give you names and it is the only product. The seed mixes are usually a scam. You're much better off buying a cuttings pack if you just want an assortment of different succulents. They are usually quite affordable. Now let's have a look at the variegated succulent seeds. Explaining variegation is for another video as it's a lengthy topic. In short, variegated plants are extremely difficult to propagate from seed as the variegation is often not passed on in the seed. 
You could get lucky if the variegation is super stable, but variegated plants don't produce variegated seed well. The seedlings of variegated plants will likely grow up to be the original color, meaning without variegation or albino. I don't think any reputable seller will try sell seeds of variegated plants and it's likely to be a scam. Not all seed sellers on trading websites are scammers though. I've bought some lovely seeds that germinated into exactly what was advertised. If buying from big shopping website, make sure the images are the sellers by doing the image search. Legit sellers will usually have more than one image of the plant and also the seeds. Lack of images are a red flag. To produce seeds you need a few plants to make sure cross-pollination happens, so they should have no trouble sending you additional images if you want to make sure. Most of the ones I dealt with also have a website outside of the big shopping platforms. My favorite site here in Australia for lithops and other funky plants is Oz Lithops. They have loads of info on their site and the seeds always germinate. I'll be buying my next load once spring hits so we'll do a video on how to grow succulents from seed in about a month's time. And lastly, legit seller will properly name the plant. So even if it's a cross, they should name the parents. The plant name starts with the genus and the next word is species. Sometimes though, there are cases of hybridized succulents varieties or forms where parents or species are unknown, so a kind of given name is used. For instance, Echeveria Romeo is of unknown origin. There are theories, but no one knows for sure where it's from or how it came to exist. However, if you look at other plants in the shop, they will not all be hybrids, varieties or forms. Correct name usage is a huge green flag. My final message is, be suspicious. If it looks too good, it's probably worth having a closer look to make sure it's all legit. And that's it for today. I hope this video was useful and if you have anything to add or would like to ask a question, you can do so in the comments below. To learn more about succulents, hit the subscribe button or go to succulentgrowingtips.com. Thank you very much for watching.